Welcome team, this is uh, PlayFX Academy. Today we are looking at the introduction to Forex. So what we'll cover today, number one, what is Forex, what is traded on Forex, who is a Forex broker, and uh, we are going to also to look at the language which you need to use in Forex. Also the trading times, also trading season. So to begin with, we'll start by defining what is Forex. So Forex, in simple form, is known as foreign exchange, where countries, they, they exchange currency from one currency to another currency. So Forex is one of the largest uh, market in the world with uh, about 6.6 trillions of dollars which are being traded every day just like on any other normal market too. the forex market has got buyers and sellers okay for it to, because it is a business so any business for it to be called a business automatically you need to have two players buyers and sellers now let us move to another another topic i mean another subtitle what is traded on forex so in forex market we trade the following number one crystal currents futures stocks commodities indices and the crystal currencies and many other pairs that you can trade okay so these are some of the things that you trade on forex now let us look at the some of the things that some of the language that you, you encounter in two, in forex especially if you are a beginner Number one, there is a bullish market. So a bullish market, this is a market that is uh, going upward. So a bullish market simply means buyers are in control. Buyers are in control because of the because of uh, the the demand force or the demand the demand uh, which is caused by these buyers. Hence, the market goes. The, the price goes up. So that kind of a market, it, co it is known as bullish market, meaning buyers are, are in control. You have another, another term known as bearish market. So bearish market is a market which is going up. This is caused by, sell, uh, pardon, bearish market. This is a market which is going downwards. This is due to the power for powers of sellers who are because of because of supply which causes the market to go to go down so bearish this is this means sellers are in control so when someone tells you to say a current spare or a commodity is bullish they are simply telling you to say it is going up okay so sometimes you hear people saying ah this market this pair is bearish they are simply saying the the, the that pair is going downwards or down to go to go long it means to go is to means to buy to go short it means to sell so this is what you need to master to know to take to bear in mind as you are into these into forex journey because these are the languages that you've been countering as a trader so soon you could do soon you will get to see that all what we are going, all what we are doing in Forex, it is just buying and selling, nothing else, just buying and selling. You buy at cheap price, you make profit, you, you sell at high price, you make profit. So bulls, these are buyers who are feared as bulls. So buyers are feared as bulls. Bears are feared as sellers are feared as bears because of who? the way they behave bulls it is taken from those bulls the way they fight when they are fighting they'll hit you with the, the head which has got holes then it will pull you up so that is how buyers behaves in the market so that is the characteristics of buyers they are known as bulls because they pushes the market upward bears it is taken from the word bear because of how the bear the nature of the bear the way it behaves when it is fighting it will stand up 
then it will hit you down with the, the feet, uh, the hands, then it will crush you down. So sellers are known as bears because they push the market down. So we also need to know to say there are terms known as ranging. So ranging it is a market which is, has got no direction. So a ranging market, it, it is either moving upwards no, no downwards. So the engine market, it sim simply means it's a market which you can't tell the direction where the market is going. You can't tell the direction of the price. Okay? It is not an uptrend. It is not a downtrend. It is just ranging, meaning both buyers and sellers are in control in the engine market. Both buyers and sellers are in control. You need to understand that, which is so very, very, very important. Trending. Trending simply means a market that has a direction, a market that has a direction, it is either moving upwards or downwards. So a engine market, meaning if it is an uptrend, buyers are the one in control. Downtrend, sellers are the one in control. So trending is in two types. There is an uptrend, there is also a downtrend. So there are, it is in two type of type. There is a uh, bullish market and the bearish market like we, like we discovered so a ranging it simply means the market it is indirect telling you that the market has not found any direction yet so when you hear people saying this market is ranging so who is a forex broker so these are biggest uh, companies which actually give you access to forex market so these are forex brokers they will provide you as a trader access to the financial market by providing you a trading account for you okay where you can trade where you can create an account which you use to deposit and to trade into the financial market okay so you see the trading financial market was for the rich people and powerful people but now because of these blockers anyone can uh, take part into forex trading including some including a common person in the street okay because they, they, they also provides they also gives traders what we call leverage where you will see soon they also provide support system to traders such as trading platform also in indicators also uh, instrument that you can use tools that you can use for you to trade well on forex they also help you to put to set your take profit so that it can close automatically stop loss as you get there you you get to understand about all that uh, buy limit order stop limit order you can set that so now there are numbers of uh, blockers that you can find so one of them is a uh, deriv Deliv, Broker, Super Forex, Fresh Forex, Hot Forex, and a lot of them that you can find. Okay? Now, who trades Forex and why? So, people that trade Forex, these are companies. Companies, they will need Forex to use it to, ex, to, 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 to foreign exchange market to pay for the goods and services from foreign countries and also to sell goods and services in foreign countries, such as... Uh, such as uh, people who are into business like Shoplite, they can also use Alibaba, they can also use Forex. When, you want, when I want to buy anything on, on uh, Alibaba or Amazon, I will, I, 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 I will use my currency, but they will change into dollar. So meaning I've done that, I've participated into that. So we have also banks, central banks, international banks, these are also into these are also into forex. We we'll also have little traders. This is where finally we come in, where you find people, common people like you and me, little traders who have small accounts such as ten dollar, twenty dollar, hundred dollar, one thousand, where they just make they aim to make little profit to pay bills and what have you okay so we have the last one these are investors these are people that trade for people in behalf now today these are not usually known because of a lot of scams today 90 percent 
this investment that this investment that tells you to say invest then will trade for you a lot of 90% are scammers so it is very hard to know them so this is all about uh, the introduction of forex i hope you have known i hope you have understood i hope you have understood so you can ask questions the number that you are seeing here you can ask then you can we can also add you into our whatsapp group where we will provide free uh, trainings online every Monday to Thursday, 21 hours on Google Meeting, also Zoom Meeting. Thank you. Let us watch for another watch for another presentation. We end here. Goodbye. God bless.